You know, there's nothing better than the aroma and flavor of properly grilled meats. Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and today we're going to go over a few grilling tips and tricks to make your backdoor experience even more successful. So let's get started. To start, if you're not covering your grill, I suggest you do. It can add years to the life of your grill, and of course, make it look better too. Before you do any grilling, always start by cleaning your grill first. With your grill on high and the lid down, heat it for at least eight minutes and turn off the gas. To clean the grates, we're going to spray them first with a non-stick spray, then we'll clean with a wire brush. We'll spray one more time and then wipe with a paper towel. This should be done before and after every time you use your grill. Your grill will last much longer and it'll keep food from sticking. At this point, we can go ahead and relight our grill on high, close the lid, and let it preheat while we prepare our meats. Whenever you grill, you should always use two plates. More on this later. I prefer dry seasonings over wet marinades for my meats when grilling. This is because most liquid marinades contain a lot of salt, which can dry out the meat by actually pulling the moisture right out of the meat when you're grilling it. Now, when we grill our meats, we're going to create a nice crust on the outside, juicy and tender on the inside. How do you do that? For best results, start with putting your meat out of the refrigerator for at least 15 to 20 minutes before grilling. Next, we'll brush on some olive oil. We'll add our seasonings. And repeat for the second side. That means we get a different seasoning on our chicken today. Now that our grill is really good and hot, we'll turn the heat off again. We'll spray our grates one more time. And then we'll add our meat. Then we'll turn our heat back on again. Then we'll lower the lid to make those all important grill marks. It's very important, do not touch it for the first three minutes. Now, why are we using those two plates? For food safety reasons, you never want to put cooked meat on the same plate where you had raw meat to begin with. Okay, let's check our grill marks. Pretty good. Next, we're gonna turn our steak across the lines to do the crisscross pattern. And we'll lower the lid. Now that our grill marks are established, we'll lower the heat to medium, medium low. Now move the meat so it's not directly over the grill burners. Then we'll lower the lid one more time. Now with the lid in a down position, the grill is now acting like an oven to finish the meats off. Every three minutes, quickly turn the meats to keep it from drying out. The best weapon in your arsenal for great grilling is an instant read meat thermometer. I like my steaks medium rare, so 130 degrees internal temperature is perfect. Medium, 150. Well done, don't bother. And of course, when the grilling's done, we'll give it one last spray, brush, and wipe. Let's eat. 